My name is Michael Drake, and I am an advisory board member of Methodist Healthcare's Living Well Network, as well as Methodist Healthcare's uh, advisory board. My first connection to Methodist Healthcare has been through the Dennis H. Jones Living Well Network. The Dennis H. Jones Living Well Network started about six years ago as a part of Methodist Healthcare. But beyond that, I think what it's done is it's given our community a sense of story. I actually knew Dennis uh, years ago, and when he took his life, I understood exactly what his story was because I come from a very long line of family anxiety, depression, and even suicide. So I knew his story, and I felt real compassion for that, and I really wanted to get involved with that. And it was really on my heart to go out and talk about behavioral health issues in the workplace because it's such an overarching epidemic uh, that affects businesses. And you know, when we come to work every day, we bring the issues that we deal with with us. They don't stay at home. The number one workplace disability very soon is not going to be uh, heart disease or cancer or diabetes. It's actually going to be behavioral health issues surrounded by anxiety and depression. And we realize that when we tell our stories, uh, it gives people the permission and the courage to tell their stories, and we find out that we deal with a lot of the same things. I'm very proud to be a member of the Methodist Healthcare Foundation Board. I'm very proud of the fact that Methodist in its hundred years has actually set down stakes and roots in Midtown and Downtown Memphis. I would really like to encourage Memphians in our community to support not only the Living Well Network, but also the Methodist Healthcare Foundation. For over a hundred years, they've invested terrifically in our community, and they can't do it by themselves. Because we all benefit, we all should invest and contribute. So I'm asking you, please, donate.